Cody, many congratulations. Fabulous result here in the World Series. Just sum up how you're feeling after dismantling Dave Chisnell. Um, feeling okay, yeah. Trying to just stay on earth and, you know, just do my thing. It was a game you, you dominated, tune it up at the break, let him back in. Do you think the scoreline could have been even bigger than what it was? Um, yeah, possibly. And also, we all know what Chizzy's capable of, you know. And On his day, it could have gone the other way. Is, is it sometimes harder, these games, when your opponent isn't playing their best and you're trying to find something off of him? Yeah, it, it is. It's, um, it, it's another ball game, but, you know, I've, I've been doing a bit of mental work and I found myself not sweating as much as I usually do on stage, so I'm getting comfortable up there. Obviously, Damon Hatter won before you as well, and what he did in the Autumn Series, how much of a boost has that given you and the whole oceanic region for darts at the moment? Um, oh, Damon Hitter, he's a, he's a good friend of mine and I knew he was good enough and he, he just needed a good break, and which he got and he took advantage of it. So I can just say that I'm really proud of him. Daryl Gani, up next for yourself. Having beaten Chisnell, do you fear anyone in the field for the rest of the tournament? Uh, no, no. Um, I'm sure they're all just human beings like me, you know. And Yeah, so uh, they're all good guys and love talking to them off the stage too. Okay, thanks very much, mate. Cody, congratulations on the win tonight. To, uh, to beat a top player like Dave Chisholm after six months away, that must give you a lot of confidence. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, I, just, I just want to keep playing darts. I've been really hungry to, to play darts all year and just, just happy to get back up there. We saw you at Q School. You, you narrowly missed out by a point. How difficult was that to take? Um, it was very difficult, but, you know... Um, I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to keep going until I get it because it's just bound to happen. And being that close shows that I am good enough to get it. So it's just the waiting game, really. Has that made you more determined than ever to make sure you're on the tour in the coming years? Um, I think my determination is still quite the same. I'm, in the back of my mind, I'm always you know, looking forward to going back home and seeing the family. So, yeah, no, determination is still the same, which is hungry. So... Brilliant. Thanks, thanks, Cody. Welcome. Cody, what have, what have you been able to do in the last few months? Obviously, uh, lots of the players have had the, the summer series and the autumn series. What does your sort of practice and, and event routine look like? Um, I'd, I'd say I've, I've always had the game of darts. So these last few months for me has been a mental game. So kind of like talking to myself in the mirror and doing a bit of meditation kind of thing, you know, just calm myself in my head and visualising actually what just happened, yeah. So do you think the last few months has sort of helped you improve the mental side of your game as opposed to the on-board stuff? I would, I would say so, but yeah, always hungry just to play darts, but yeah, that's playing darts is one side of the game and the mental side is also another side of the game. So kind of have to balance it out and master both of them in a way. And how much did you miss the chance to play in front of, obviously, your home crowd on the World Series this year? Uh, it was good, but, you know, the way the world is today, you, you have to follow what's going on. And it's, it was just unfortunate, but, you know, you, you can't dwell on it. You have to look forward and hope for the best. All right. Cheers, cheers Cody. Hey, Cody. Uh, how are you going? Good, thanks. Hey? Awesome, mate. Um, how hard has it been being away from your family and everything else? Um, I assume you've been based in Europe during this uh, this whole coronavirus pandemic. Uh, it, it is hard, you know. I'm oh, feeling quite strong now, but some moments when I'm by myself, I kind of drop a tear here and there. But you know, I'd, yeah, just missing them so much back home. Yeah, I talk to them quite a bit on the phone, video calling, but it's just not enough some days, you know. And uh, you went against Chizzy there. Would you kind of describe that as one of probably your biggest wins of your career? Um, yeah, in a way, he's he's got a he's got a big name, and taking that win is is a big step. But I've played him twice now, and I've, I've beaten him twice. But I wouldn't say that I've played his A game yet. So, yeah. And I guess, uh, you know, considering you probably had a bit of a lack of darts uh, lately because uh, of the challenge tour not being on, I guess, you know, getting up there and getting a win like that is probably just going to do you the world of good. 
yeah, yeah, with the challenge too, I'm sure PDC is doing their best to, you know, they're always informing us what's going on and, you know, we can only hope, they can only work with, you know, the health organisations and the officials of the countries, the governments and stuff, you know, they, they don't actually, they can only make their choices along the line with them. So, you know, we just have to be patient and wait and get through what's going on. And uh, last one for me, do you know uh, anything uh, with regards to probably the World Cup coming up later this year, whether New Zealand will be able to get someone else over there to play alongside you? Um, I hope so. I, I think um, Hopai Puha might be in line to come over and play, as, play again. I mean, um, we played last year and did really well, so hopefully he does come over and we can have another go at it.